As part of our camper van trip from Alice Springs to Adelaide, we made a detour to Uluru. We stayed two nights here and what better way to experience this majestic sandstone monolith than by doing the base walk which is going to be a 10k walk around the Uluru Rock We are starting early Hopefully it's not too hot already As you can see it's really bright To enter the national park we have to go through these ticket gates we purchased our ticket online, so we just have to scan this QR code. The hard part is actually getting out of this camper when we scan the QR code. Once we got past the gate, we had to drive another 15 kilometers to get to the parking spot, which was a perfect place to set up and have some breakfast. Let's have some breakfast. Alright, it's time to go for the walk. No way. This is the start, I guess. This used to be where people used to do the climb. I'm gonna do the whole base walk. Then back to here. So that should take us. Three hours. We started this walk at 8.30 a.m. which is probably already too late. It is possible to do this walk in either direction although we went for the more common clockwise route. There were lots of informative signs and interesting stories about Aboriginal life along the way to read about. One of the best things about this walk is how close you get to the rock and observe all its unique features. 10 minutes after we started, we reached a spectacular cave which is where Aboriginal families would set up campfire and share food and stories about life. Back on the road somehow. It's just getting up to two kilometers now. Uh, it is really hot, so maybe it's a good idea to get a hat like this and not be one of these guys. Yes, despite the flat nature of the walk, it is quite strenuous due to the heat. So make sure to carry lots of water and pack a hat. Hello bird. That's so funny. Considering how flat this walk is, it is possible to do it as part of a segway tour, if that is more of your interest. Nice little shelter. There were a few of these shelters along the walk and thank goodness for them. Taking regular breaks along the walk was a great way to refresh ourselves and also admire the rock from a different angle. It's coming up to 5 kilometers, almost halfway. Just got up to halfway. It's time for a break. That's my love. There is also another car park here where you could potentially start the walk I'm from. Past this because 
At this stage, it was getting too hot and we were enjoying every bit of the shade we could get. I just didn't take the photo. It's so much nicer when you're closer to the rock and you get some shade. Yay! I touched it. Rebel. Which is coming up to seven and a half kilometers. So, not much long to go. But it's really getting hot. You don't want to be starting this at 11 a.m. We made a quick stop at the Muti Chulu waterhole, which is one of the few permanent sources of water in Uluru. How did this basketball end up here? And a short while later, some were walking and we are almost at the end. So we have almost come to the end of this base walk. Ah, bring a fly net as well, by the way. Um, yeah, so how, how did you find it? It was good. It was mostly flat, but the heat makes it a bit challenging. But I like that. It's a nice walk. <laughs> yeah, lots of history along the way. Lots of nice stories to read about. So make sure you check it out. We're back where we start. Two hours and 15 minutes. And our camper van is still here. Yay! <laughs>